One year on, and King Charles, rather than Prince Charles, now feels pretty easy to say. On the anniversary of his ascension to the throne, he and Queen Camilla visited a Scottish church and said quiet thank yous to locals. We recall with great affection her long life, devoted service. The king's official remarks about the anniversary of his mother's death came in an audio recording released along with a 1968 photo of her. The Prince and Princess of Wales, William and Catherine, paid their own tribute to the late Queen during a visit to a Welsh cathedral. Elizabeth II, who was 96 when she died, was Britain's longest serving monarch. After his coronation, arguably the highlight of Charles's first year, the transition appeared to go smoothly. But at 74 years old, the King's plans going forward are harder to discern, says this royal historian. Charles's best bet, as far as anything can be, is for him to steady the ship, to make sure that there's going to be a monarchy when he finishes, and to leave the door open for William to come in and do any more major change that's needed. Recent opinion polls suggest Charles is generally viewed favorably, but support for abolishing the monarchy is also rising. Then there's Charles's estrangement from his son Harry. Why I know exactly one year on that she is looking down on all of us tonight. He flew in and out of London for a charity event where he paid tribute to his late grandmother, but he didn't see the king. As yet, there is no permanent memorial to the queen. But this day came with cannon salutes, and from Britain's Prime Minister, the said one year on, the scale of her service to the nation and the Commonwealth is appreciated more deeply than ever. Chris Brown, CBC News, London.